considering uh, I'm thinking back, and since the Buckeyes are typically an underdog, how many times a year? Typically zero, maybe one, stretching it to two. That to be a seven and a half point underdog hasn't happened since a double digit uh, status against Alabama. And again, that worked out pretty well, Tony. It did. And now you're talking about the number 11 ranked Ohio State Buckeyes facing Clemson. If we're going to use Dabo's rankings, which why why wouldn't we? And so, yeah, it's uh, it, it'll be interesting. I think Ohio State has been was favored against Clemson the last two times they played. So now they are going to be the underdog, and uh, I'm sure they're playing it up, at least in terms of what people think and what people expect You know, outside. Uh, I, I wonder how many people are going to be picking Ohio State in this one. I don't think it's going to be a lot. And when you've got a line like that, it's going to be something. It's, it's something that Urban Meyer would certainly use. It'll be interesting to see how Ryan Day plays the underdog role because, well, I think this is his first time, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to remember what the line was last time these teams played, but yeah, it's certainly two points. Yeah, maybe. yeah Urban would would have all sorts of mental warfare going on right now. I mean, depending if you which side of Urban Meyer you're on, if you were if you were pro Urban Meyer, he was a, a master motivator. If you're anti Urban Meyer, he was a master manipulator. Uh, but he certainly would have had um, everybody really ready for this with the whole disrespect thing. Nobody in the nation seems to be picking Ohio State. I mean, this seven and a half point line may as well be 70 just based on some of the stuff that we've already seen and heard so far coming out of the national pundits or whatnot. Um, Ohio State dropped its uh, its official game week trailer this week, and they certainly uh, – they they have it going on. They have it going on. So it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, and I'm sure we'll cover all aspects here this hour um, as we kind of dive into the game. Do you think the point spread's legit, Kevin? Um, Ohio State hasn't uh, been able to break through against Clemson before, uh, so there certainly is nothing to sit there and say that. You know, Ohio State's eleventh, as as Tony said via Dabo Swinney. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, seven and a half seems like a lot, but I I definitely think Ohio State goes into this game as an underdog. I certainly do. Got Steve Hellwagon on the line here, hustling to make it on time. Good for you, Steve. Good to see you. Hey guys, I'm just a minute or two, a couple, two, three minutes late. Sorry. Well right. done, well done, Steve Hellwagon, joining us from Bucknuts Two Four Seven Sports. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, the city, the atmosphere, uh, brings back some some good memories of about uh, six years ago. Obviously, uh, they beat Alabama, New Orleans. So, you know, when you get in the same stadium, none of these players experienced it, unfortunately. But uh, it'd be that kind of a breakthrough, obviously, if Ohio State's able to come through and get that win on Friday against Clemson, I mean, you'd put it up there along the, the lines just because of the two playoff losses previously. It's kind of like uh, not even close yet, you know, to make it up for what's happened in the past. So uh, I'll be interested to see if the Buckeyes can handle this challenge. And it is a, it's going to be a tough one, I think. 